juicer this is my very first juicer and like everything it has its pros and cons so let's get straight into the video okay so the exact juicer that we're going to be reviewing today is the breville juice fountain cold bje 430 sil so i'm assuming that it stands for breville juice e 430 silver okay so this is the exact juicer right here which i love 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 just because it's my first juicer. <laughs> so I wanna get into the pros. First, let me just move this over. So it has this little thing here in case you just wanna make like a single juice, which I think is nice, okay? Cause sometimes everybody is not, you know, batch juicing. Some people just wanna make one juice at a time or one juice for the day, whatever it is. So, you know, you put this on the little tube here and then the juice comes straight out, which I think is perfect. If I, let me show you guys real quick. <laughs> so you would just put it like this and then it would just make the juice straight into the cup for you. Now, if you're somebody like me, I make four different juices at a time. So I drink about 64 ounces of juice a day and I like to drink different juices throughout the day. So like I said, I make four different juices at a time. So that's why this is very beneficial for me. And I also juice every two to three days. So if you're gonna be juicing every day, just like one single cup, I recommend doing it this way. But if not, if you're gonna be like batch juicing or making, you know, multiple juices at a time, this definitely comes in handy. So you just connect this in here. It goes straight like this and you will put the fruit at the top as you are pushing down. You know, the juice comes out on this side and the pulp comes out on this side. It also has a little turn button. So up is low, off, and then high. It comes with a little pamphlet so you exact so you know exactly what speed to put each fruit and vegetable on. Ultimately, it's up to you. Use it however you want, but you can follow the book so you don't ruin the actual juicer. When I first started juicing, I did not have a juicer. As you guys heard me say, this is my first juicer ever. I've been juicing for about two months now and the juicer was necessary, okay? When I first started juicing, I was using a blender and then I had purchased this um, juice bag. But before I even had the juice bag, I was using a blender and a strainer. So it was taking me hours, especially because I said I make four different juices at a time. It was literally taking me all day, okay? All day. Then I got the juice bag and it was still taking hours, but it wasn't taking all day. So I would blend up my fruits and vegetables and then put it in the bag and then squeeze it out. And I had my juice, which I absolutely love because I didn't get any fiber in the juice, any pulp, none, nothing. It was straight juice, very smooth as it went down. With this juicer, I still do use the juice bag. You can use a strainer, you can use a juice bag. I just find that the juice bag is much easier and faster for me. Now, when you use this juicer, you don't really have to cut up much of the fruit and vegetables just because it has a nice little size. I wanna say it's about like three and a half inches, maybe three inches, I don't know. But you really don't have to cut anything up. Carrots go in here without cutting anything up. Cucumbers, celery, 
most apples sometimes i just cut the apples in half and just put it in here but everything for the most part fits inside of here which i actually love because when i was juicing the other way i definitely had to spend most of my time cutting up my fruits and vegetables whereas here i just pop them in push this down if it's taking a long time or getting stuck and boom the juice comes out here okay so it's pretty quick when i make four juices i make about four different juices but it's about eight bottles eight 16 ounce bottles so it really doesn't take me more than like an hour to juice it's not gonna take you an hour to juice with this that's only if you're making four different juices like i am but if you're making one or two juices you should be done in like 20 30 minutes which is fine with me and then the next pro is the cleanup is so easy like very very easy you literally take everything apart you know you just take the top off of this and put that out but I'm just gonna disassemble it for you guys. Take this off. And then you take this part out also. So that's how easy it is to literally take this apart and clean it. An easy cleanup is something that I was looking for when I found a juicer because I just didn't wanna have anything that took forever to take apart or takes forever to clean. I wouldn't wanna juice anymore. Like, it would just make me upset. Like, I'm not about to juice if it's gonna be so long to clean up. Like, I needed something quick and easy and simple just because I do juice a lot and I juice every two to three days. That's pretty much it for the pros. <laughs> Let's get into the cons. I know I said I love this juicer, but it does have its cons, guys. It does, it does, it does. So first and foremost, the first thing that I dislike about this juicer is that it is so loud. Like, it's not as loud as my blender, but it is loud. Like, don't think you could be juicing at 8 o'clock at night if you have kids or if you have neighbors because it's loud. <laughs> I don't like that. Second con would be the foam. I pretty much finished this juice, but as you guys can see, there's still like a lot of foam there. I'm gonna get another one in a second and drink it and show you guys. This juicer creates so much foam. When I had just my juice bag and my um, blender, I didn't have, I barely had foam. Like the only juices that I would have foam in is like purple cabbage or beets which I did make that today, so I'm gonna show you guys. The foam is ridiculous. Like, anytime I juice with this, about half this uh, jug is juice and the other half is foam. So it's very necessary for me to have my juice bag. Again, I tried straining it at first and it was so much foam that it was taking forever. So I just use, once I fill it up in here, I pour it in my juice bag and just squeeze everything out. It's, the foam is ridiculous, okay? Like, absolutely ridiculous. That's my second kind that I hate about it. I don't know why it creates so much foam. I've seen juices from doing research that does not create foam. And if it does, it's literally like a small amount, which is not a big deal. But for me, it's too much. It's literally too much. So I have to use my juice bag to get that foam out. The third con that I have about this juicer is the pulp i know when you're juicing or when you just start juicing you don't really know much but i've been juicing for two months and i've been doing my research so imagine me juicing for two months and basically every two to three days like i know my stuff <laughs> i know my stuff and the pulp is too wet for me which i'm also going to show you everything that i say in this video i'm going to show y'all because i did juice a quick a couple juices i only juice three different juices today but i juice those juices purposely just so i can show you guys what i'm talking about the pulp is extremely wet and sometimes all of the fruit is not even cut up all of the vegetables are not even cut up and i hate that so definitely you could use the juice bag to squeeze out the pulp or just save your pulp and like dehydrate it and use it for something else like teas or use it in desserts or anything that you're gonna make. use it for whatever you want but i wouldn't recommend wasting the pulp just because it still has so much juice left in it the only reason that i don't um put the pulp in my juice bag is because it'll just be so much like i'm already putting the juice in the juice bag before i pour it in my bottles because i'm trying to get that foam and that extra fiber out but definitely definitely that pulp is gonna be wet like it's gonna be wet i hate that if you don't mind then you know 
just squeeze it out or get rid of it but whatever i don't like that so my very last con that i do have about this juicer is that the juice separates so quick like as soon as i put it in the fridge it starts separating you guys i make sure that i fill it to the top i make sure that i use my lemons and my lime anything to prevent oxidation of course you can't stop nature's process it's gonna happen but at the end of the day if you could prevent it as much as you can then that's what i recommend obviously when you do make these fresh juices you're gonna have to shake it up regardless before you drink it but again when i started out with my blender and my juice bag this wouldn't happen until like after 24 hours and it's like okay cool that's understandable but for the most part this literally had this process happens as soon as i put it in the fridge i promise you it happens as soon as i put it in the fridge so i find myself just shaking it up and drinking it perfect it's not that bad but for me personally like i said i don't want this stage to happen until about 24 hours in so this is my green juice here this here is my purple cabbage and this is my beet juice so you know it still tastes very much delicious and good but at the end of the day i don't want that happening until you know the end of the day but beggars can't be choosers overall i would rate this video i'm sorry this video you hear me overall i would rate this juicer maybe a six out of ten if you're just starting and you don't want to spend you know a lot of money on a juicer then i definitely would recommend because this juicer was about maybe 130 dollars if you're not going to be juicing two to three times a week or every day then don't go out there and spend so much money on a juicer definitely get this and you know it's very quick it's simple it's easy so that's something that i do like it's just that the cons for me are are like deal breakers so my mom actually bought me this juicer but i personally would not spend my money on it <laughs> like i said i recommend it a six out of ten i do eventually want to branch off and get the nama j2 juicer or the kuvings juicer i really don't know i'm indecisive i've been doing a lot of research just so i could see the differences i don't see much of a difference between the nama j2 and the um Coven juicer if you know in the comments definitely leave me a comment and let me know but like i said if you're looking for a quick easy juicer something for now right now i would recommend this but if you know that you're gonna go hard you're juicing every couple days or even every day then definitely invest in something that's gonna be great this is literally just good it's not great it's good okay overall like i said six out of ten but just try it okay the juices are still fire i'm not gonna lie my juices are still delicious like very much delicious it's just that like i said my cons are deal breakers for me like i don't want that much pulp in my juice i don't want that much foam in my juice i want my pulp to be extremely dry when it comes out so i feel like i'm getting you know i'm not wasting my money on my produce you know fruit is expensive vegetables are expensive so i would hate to sit here and waste anything because the juice is not i mean the juicer is not juicing how i want it to be but at the end of the day do what you want <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this review please like comment and subscribe to my channel and again don't forget to turn your post notification bells on i am going to be doing juicer videos for you guys once a week with my reveal juicer until we get that nama so definitely definitely stay tuned okay I found you.